asked to solve this question 7 to the power of x equal to 72 what will immediately come to your mind the use of logarithm right or the use of natural logarithm you're right you can use logarithm or natural logarithm in solving this question now let's look at the use of logarithm in solving this question now to solve this question we're going to look at using logarithm we we'll look at logarithm we're going to look at having log of 7 x plus 7 equal to the log of 72 right according to the law of indices this comes over here and this becomes x log of 7 equal to the log of I want to expand this because 72 can simply give me 8 multiplied by 9 right so that is that so looking at this I can simply find the value of x by multiplying or dividing both sides by log 7 this is going to give me log 7 right while log 7 cancel out log 7 we'll have our x to be equal to log of 8 multiplied by 9 all divided by log of what 7 now remember the law of the multiplication law of logarithm Following the multiplication law of logarithm, we have log of AB. Log of AB can be equal to the log of A plus the log of what? Log of B. Right? So if we apply it here, we'll have our x to be equal to the log of 8 plus the log of 9 can simply give me 9 to the power of 2 right uh, that will simply give me 9 which can also be reduced to all these can be log of 7 so this expression can give me my x to be equal to log of 2 3 base 2 right plus log of 3 base 2, right? Uh, 2 base 3, because that will give us 3 to the power of this, and all of these will be log of 7. According to the law of indices, this can come over here. We'll have our x to be equal to 3 log 2 plus 2 log 3. And we can separate this to give me log of 7 divided by the log of 7. So what do we do with this? We can simply simplify. Looking at these two, we can simply simplify uh, these two expressions. Now this is going to give me uh, this is going to give me x to be equal to 3 multiplied by the log of 2 divided by log of 7 plus 2 multiplying log of 3 divided by the log of 7. Now remember a common law of log routine that if I have the log of A divided by the log of B this can be equal to the log of this becomes the this becomes the base why the numerator becomes the what the log so we have the log of a base what base b so we can apply it over here and also apply it over here so if we apply it over there we're going to have that expression to now give us that expression is now going to give us uh, half the value of our x to now be equal to 3 multiplying 7 becomes the base log of 2 base 7 plus 2 multiplying 7 becomes the base log of 
3 base words 7 and this becomes the solution to that expression given to us up here so now let's check to find out if our solution is absolutely right if we check by inserting the value of x into this expression what do we have we have 7 to the power of x of 7 to the power of 3 log of 2 base 7 plus 2 multiplying log of 3 base what? Base 7. Will it be equal to 72? Let's find out. Now, remember the law of logarithm, the law of indices. If you have a to the power of x plus y, this can simply become a to the power of x multiplied by a to the power of y, right? So we can separate this to give us 7 to the power of 3 log 2 base 7, right? Multiplied by 7 to the power of 2 log 3 base 7 will this be equal to 72 now let's check this out if we check this out this is going to give us 7 to the power of log of 2 to the power of 3 base 7 multiplying 7 to the power of log of 3 to the power of 2 base 7 and will this be equal to 72? Now, if we analyze that expression, we're going to find out that that expression, remembering one law of logarithm, law of logarithm that says if we have a to the power of b base a, this can simply be equal to b, right? So a will cancel out a and our result will be b so if we apply that here 7 will cancel out 7 and then we'll be left with 2 to the power of 3 multiplying 7 will cancel out 7 will be left with 3 to the power of 2 will both give us 72 let's check out 2 times 2 to the power of 3 is 2 times 2 times 2 2 times 2 is 4 4 times 2 is 8 so we'll have 8 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2 is 9. Will it give us 72? 8 times 9, will it give us 72? Of course, 8 times 9 will give us 72. So we'll have uh, 72 to be equal to 72. So left hand side is equal to right hand side. So that tells us that this solution is the solution for the value of x that satisfies this expression given to us here you see very easy i know you did enjoy watching this math solution don't forget to give it a thumbs up share with friends and colleagues and subscribe to my channel for more simplified math content thanks so much for watching